Right, well, I'm going to be turning a test bar on the Imco. Um, now I've always found leveling this lathe, um, leveling it as far as getting it set up for turning square, a little bit tricky. Um, let me show you some of what I mean. So bolting this lathe down to the stand is done by, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bolt down there. see that <clears throat> and then there's another bolt down there I'll put my finger there that's where that's where the bolts are and they're the only two bolts that bolt this thing down to the stand now although the stand is quite substantial it's still only you can see that that's how thick everything is and there's just a couple of bits of angle iron across here and down there, down there, that the actual lathe bolts to. Now, on the likes of my ML7, you've got four, four bolts that hold that down. And you can oh, uh, put washers and things under them bolts, bolt it down, loosen them off, tighten it. And you can affect some sort of twist in the bed. Now the only way you can sort of try and twist this bed is by trying to bolt it down and maybe putting a shim under here or something. But this is always going to give way before this lump of cast. So trying to twist this bed is actually pretty nigh impossible. Um, Actually, even just sort of leveling it off the stand. I mean, I've got it level. I don't know whether you're about to see that bubble. But the only way I can level it that way is really across this or across the saddle because you, the actual bed has got different heights on the metal, so can't really put anything across there. And pretty much likewise with going this way. So I've got it as level as I can the whole thing with a stand with the little feet I've made you can alter that and get it a bit level so it is as level as I can get it and I'm talking about level with a Stanley general purpose level not a machine level but I'm going to turn the test bar and just see how accurate it is <clears throat> at least about five or six inches out of it I mean the main reason I want to do this today is just to see our level or not level how accurate I've got the towel stock anyway let's get a bit of metal and start doing a bit of turning
But here we have it. The lathe's in use. It's all dirty. The actual finish is, especially this end near the chuck, which is where I wouldn't expect it. The finishes are awful, but that's down to me and me not knowing me uh, lathe again. I'll get the hang of it, bit of practice, bit of testing with some speeds and feeds and I'll get back to where I was. But as far as the uh, lathe being reasonably level and the towel stock centred, that's not bad. I can live with hundredth of a millimetre difference in a six inch span. That'll do for now. There's always something to piss you off in there. So I run my wood lathe sort of once a week or so just to make sure it's all working. Unfortunately, when I run it now, there's an error. There's something wrong. I don't think it's the inverter. I've got a feeling there's something with the motor. I could do without this, but um, I'm going to have to drag that out and see what's the matter with it. See whether it's completely buggered or... Sounds like it might be the capacitor that's packed up. But that's something I'm going to have to look into. Bloody nuisance.